Hello everyone, today we'll see all the settings and webhooks available on Block Builder. Let's start with the Block Builder settings. On the main menu of the game, go to the settings page by clicking on the settings button. Here you can choose how quickly you want the island to be completely built. You can activate or not auto build. This allows you not to have to left click as soon as blocks are destroyed. You can display the win counter or not. If you want to use your own win counter, max win is the victory goal to achieve during your live. It will be displayed on your victory counter. You can put your win count on the left, in the middle, or on the right. This is the countdown that is triggered when you complete the island. If no one cancel the countdown, then a win will be added to the counter. This is the countdown that is triggered when you have reached your victory objective. If no one remove a win, then it's the end of your session. You can choose on which event the multiplier is effective. You can use a custom sky or not. Here you can choose the sky you want. You can choose the sensitivity of the camera here. Here you can activate or not the automatic rotation of the camera. Now I will introduce you all the different webhooks you can use for the game. All the webhooks are available on the main menu of the game by clicking on the webhooks button. Note that it is possible that webhooks have been modified or added. If this is the case, all the modifications will be available in the document which references the webhooks. This webhook spawns one or more TNT that destroys blocks. You can choose the quantity here. This webhook spawns one or more sword that destroys blocks. You can choose the quantity here. This webhook spawns one or more rocket that destroys blocks. You can choose the quantity here. This webhook add one or more blocks. You can choose the quantity here. This webhook complete the board with blocks. This webhook clears the board. It removes win from your victory counter. You can choose the quantity here. It adds win from your victory counter. You can choose the quantity here. The multiplier allows you to multiply events for a certain time by a value that you define. You can choose in the settings on which events it is effective. You can choose the value of the multiplier here and its duration here. The lucky wheel is a wheel that allows events to be triggered randomly. A tutorial is available on the channel to configure it. If you want to know how to link webhooks to Tickfinity, a tutorial is available on the channel. The link is in the description of this video.